From miles of open road and empty fields to the sunny South Florida beaches, this video is all about my move from a small town in Texas to a very busy and active community called Fort Lauderdale, Florida. What's up everyone, my name is AJ Butler and in this video I'm going to be discussing you know, why you'd be moving from Texas to Florida in the first place, the differences between the two, the actual move itself and things that you should consider before coming down here, and then what life looks like down here in sunny South Florida. First things first, why would you be moving from Texas to Florida? And some immediate thoughts I have are job opportunities, retirement, and also just getting access to the beach and being in that tropical environment. Fort Lauderdale specifically has different communities that would cater better towards those of you looking to retire and some of those young professionals coming into town that can start up their career. So the next thing I wanna jump into is some of the differences between Texas and Florida if you are looking to make the move. And the first thing that I wanna get into is climate. So Texas has more of a hot and dry climate with extremes in both both directions where down here in South Florida or Fort Lauderdale specifically it's gonna be more of that tropical and humid environment with warm weather throughout the year the second big difference between Texas and Florida is gonna be the amount of space we have access to in Texas obviously it's very famous for you know wide open roads a lot of space and then down here in South Florida you're gonna be crammed between the beautiful coastline we have and the Everglades you know making everything a little bit more cramped the third and final thing I'm gonna talk about as far as the main differences between Texas and Florida is the cost of living typically you're gonna spend more money being here in South Florida just because of the high demand to be here in the limited supply of space that we have. That being said though, the cost difference is balanced out by the amenities and the attractions we have here in South Florida. I mean, you're getting to live somewhere where a lot of people just come to vacation. And the third and final topic I wanna to discuss is the move itself when coming down here to Fort Lauderdale. So the first thing that I would recommend doing when coming down here is just sitting down and getting a list together of some of the communities we have in the area. Like I said in the beginning of the video, some communities are gonna to cater better towards that retirement community. Some are gonna to cater towards maybe a more family-like environment and some towards those young Young, busy professionals that are coming down here to start their careers. After deciding on a specific location, the next thing that I would suggest doing is creating a plan. Moving is a huge financial commitment and I want you to think about not only what it's gonna cost when you get down here, but what it's gonna cost along the way. Things like moving companies, moving trucks, loss of income between where you're coming from and the, and the job you're gonna get down here are all things that you should consider before making a move. The last thing on moving is consider sorting through your things and figuring out what are some must-haves that you have, what are things that you could potentially sell to you know help with the moving expenses and then some things that you can donate just to lighten the load for your trip over here. The best part about moving to Fort Lauderdale is when moving is no longer in your vocabulary. Feeling that warm sun on your skin, walking across the beach is no longer a dream and it is now your daily reality. With that being said guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you found some value in it. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.